earth shall bow, shall sing to your name. Alleluia, Alleluia. God, tremendous deeds for the people. Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries by seeking forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day that Stephen was killed, a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem, and all the except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. Devout men buried Stephen and made, and made loud lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church by entering house after house, dragging off both men and women. He committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went from place to place, proclaiming the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed, and proclaimed the Messiah to them. The crowds with one accord listened eagerly to what people, what, the crowds with one accord listened eagerly to what was said by Philip, hearing and seeing the signs that he did. For unclean spirits, crying with both shrieks, came out of many who were possessed. And many others who were paralyzed or lame were cured. So there was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord.
cry out with joy to God all the earth. O oh, sing to the glory of God's name. O oh, render glorious praise. Say to God how tremendous your deeds. Before you all the earth shall bow, shall sing to you, sing to your name. Come and see the works of God, tremendous deeds among the people. Come and hear, all who fear God. I will tell what God did for my soul. Blessed be God who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold love from me. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had fed the crowd with the five loaves, he said to the people, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. At yesterday's Mass, uh, in the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, we heard of the stoning of Stephen. Uh, held to be the first Christian martyr. Uh, in today's first reading passage, we heard that this act sparked a severe persecution against the church in Jerusalem, so that all Jewish Christian despite disciples, except the apostles, scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. And we heard of the success of the deacon Philip in the city of Samaria. So despite the severe persecution initiated and led by the, this young Pharisee named Saul, the gospel message spread. In fact, as history has shown, it's because of the persecution that the church grew so quickly and spread so far and wide. Or to put it another more positive way, uh, it was belief that led to action or conversion that led to evangelization that caused the growth. This belief in the messiahship of Jesus of Nazareth 
in the passed on words of Jesus was not an intellectual assent to theological statements. There were no published theological statements in these early years. These kinds of things developed over several centuries and the church grew dramatic, dramatically in the early years without them. Those who heard Jesus passed on his words. He claimed to be the bread of life and that whosoever believed in him will attain eternal life. He claimed that he had been sent of God to do God's will. And what was that will? That he, Jesus, would not lose anyone given by God. Well, that means all of us. Uh, and the will of God was that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life. The belief does not come, this belief does not come easily. Perhaps it did in the early years after the death of Jesus on the cross, spurred on by the sightings of the glorified Christ. Today, belief in the divinity of Jesus is no doubt more difficult, uh, let alone comprehensible. To quote a monastic friend of mine from St. John's Abbey, Father Michael Peterson, quote, belief is not a quick slam dunk decision we make once and for all. Rather, belief is a lifetime process, end quote. It is a process that may still lead us to persecution or at least to ridicule, but in some areas of the world may still lead to martyrdom. But for most of us, belief is a lifetime process, which may seem long and filled with fits and starts, but in the end brings us to union with a loving God, because the will of God is that all who see the Son, all that believe, will merit eternal life. May we all see the Son and believe. Let us pray. For sight to behold and believe in Jesus Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the health of Pope Francis and the reform of the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our oblates, our lay associates, our online worshipers, guests, and benefactors, let us pray to the Lord. For Glastonbury Abbey to see an increase in vocations and growth in holiness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all people afflicted by war or violence, especially in the Ukraine, in Gaza, and in Haiti, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those who are ill, hospitalized, or in care centers, for Fathers Timothy and Nicholas, let us pray to the Lord. For those enrolled in the Mass Guild, for all our loved ones who have died, and for the consolation of all who mourn, let us pray to the Lord. Lord we ask all of these in the name of Christ our Lord.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop and all your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of Take away the sins of the world and us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure us for, for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Amen.